Number 37. Technetium-99 is often used for assessing heart, liver, and lung damage because certain technetium compounds are absorbed by damaged tissues. It has a half-life of 6 hours. From that, we have to calculate the rate constant for the decay of technetium-99. Okay, so we are talking about a single isotope. We have one element here. Um, they're giving us a mass number, and they're saying that it's going to decay. Now, generally, when you do have only one atom and it's undergoing some type of decay, it's going to be radioactive. So this is in the realm of radioactive decay. And the good thing about radioactive decay is that all radioactive decay, doesn't matter what atom you're talking about, carbon, uranium, um, if you have a radioactive isotope, this is always going to abide by first order kinetics. That's an ugly first, okay, ugly first order kinetics. Con, okay, kinetics. Now, you've probably already run through your kinetics chapter, and you have two integrated rate laws for first order kinetics. Why can't we use them here? We can. That's why I wrote the two formulas that you might be familiar with from your kinetics chapter. They, they, you know, sometimes textbooks make you memorize new formulas for this, but all radioactive decay is, is first order kinetics. So we can use the same formulas. Just memorize that one set and you could use them for two, two different topics. Now, they told us that it has a half-life of six hours. A half-life is represented by T half. So we have a half-life of six hours, and from there, we need to find out the rate constant. And the rate constant is always a K value. Now, from your first-order kinetic equations, there's only one formula that has the half-life, and that's this. And look, half-life and k, rate constant. This is the only formula that we need for this one. We don't even need the other one, so it's going bye-bye. We know that we have a half-life of 6 hours, so 6.0. And let's just find the k value. Cool, right? Let's do it. 6 point zero equals zero point six nine three divided by the k value, right? We can cross multiply. And you could have put x down there if you wanted to, it doesn't really matter to me. So this would be six point zero k equals zero point six nine three. Let's solve for the k value by dividing each by six. So divide by six, divide by six, and now we get a beautiful rate constant of 0.693 divided by six of 0 0.1155. If you want to round, maybe this should be one, two, because I see two uh, sig figs here. Does anybody care anymore? I don't, but you know, whatever. <laughs> point, point one two is the answer. The unit, since the time was in hours, this would be hours to the negative one. And we are done. This one was short, sweet, to the point. Love when questions are like this, but sometimes, you know, they're going to be, you know, an hour long. But yeah. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you in more questions. We got memberships on the channel if you want to become a member. It's not obligated, obviously. Um, but any little help will help us out, which in turn helps you guys out uh, because we get to put out more cool stuff for you guys. So check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos on the channel. Uh, we may be able to help you out with that. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.